Here we are, guys. We're back with some more Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Thank you guys for all of the love on the last two videos. I am smiling so wide right now because so many people have been leaving amazing comments, just being overall excited for this Let's Play. Everybody is liking my reactions to it thus far and just seeing that how positive I am about this. And I'll be honest with you guys, this is like genuine positivity. Like I actually love this game. It's so fun. It's phenomenal. And, and I was smiling when there was people in the comment section saying that now they're going to replay the game after they played it before because my let's play basically got them kind of rehyped for it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this let's play and just keep sending the love that you guys have been and I'll keep uploading consistently. With that being said, let's jump into it. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to make a roll call. Okay, let's do a roll call. I want to know where you guys are from, everybody. Um, if you don't want to put where you're from, you don't have to, but for most of you guys in the comment section, be like, hey, what's up, Blaze? I'm from Turkey. Shouts out to you or something like that. Because I saw another creator or streamer say something kind of ignorant because they were like, oh, people from other countries other than America don't really watch YouTube. And I was like, what? That's crazy. There's no way. Like a lot of my viewers are from other countries. I don't know about you guys. I've seen a lot of viewers from other countries like the Philippines, Brazil, uh, Turkey, a lot of places in Europe. So I don't know what that creator was talking about, but <laughs> people are nuts, bro. Anyways, let's do the homestead mission because in the last video, you guys were saying that the homestead missions are very important. So I need to go travel to this one here. I'll be back. Okay, so here we are. The homestead mission is just up ahead. Oh my God, look at that, man. This game is really pretty. There's some really nice shots in this game. All right, I need to walk around here. Animals, what? What happened here? Take what you deserve, rebel. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. I thought there was something in there. Sorry. Back off. Oh, whoa! I didn't think I was gonna be fighting all y'all. Oh. I could have did a double assassination there, or double counter. That would have been cool. Oh no, he's gonna shoot me, is he? Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> Why are you backing up? God. <gasps> Aww. What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. Oh, look at Connor. He is mad. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Aw. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? We'll certainly come see. Thank you. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm kind of crying. I'm kind of crying. Connor is so selfless, man. I love him. Oh, my God. That was so sad. Seeing them in need like that, and he just... He literally got down on one knee and said, hey, I got an opportunity for you. That was sweet. That was really, really sweet. Okay, so the next homestead mission is over here. Oh, there they are. Are they beating that person up? I'm gonna help him. Don't worry. Hi. Whoa! Get off me. Yeah, he, dude, that guy just shot me right in my face. Oh. Wait, why am I not doing my counter? That's what I wanted to do. There it is. <laughs> I can counter with the rope dart. Ooh. Let me see if I can do it again. Oh, no. I ran out of them. I can't. Oh, there's more guys. Uh, let's use our sword here. 
Uh, actually, it's on this one. Yeah, then we'll try out the sword. Whoa, what y'all doing? Oh, God. Wow! <laughs> I don't think the gameplay, like the animations, ever get old in this game. <laughs> Chuck Thank Norris? You, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? <laughs> North of here, province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? He's French. I am a miner by trade, but it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? These homestead missions are so amazing! I would be best friends with Connor, honestly. I just love how kind he is. He doesn't say much, but when he does, it's like one of those things where you just like, you feel how sweet he is. We're gonna do this next mission. I don't think I have any more homestead missions here. No. I do want to check out the Boston Brawlers though. Eventually. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act. And I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen. But surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories thing, no matter what we do. Might as well make it count. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Oh, those guys look kind of suspicious. You. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Uh-oh. Now. Oh, that was Paul what Revere? Can, I you? I w <laughs> can we learn about Paul Revere real quick? Recent entry is Paul Revere. You'll have heard of Paul Revere's Midnight Ride, of course. He was one of several riders sent to warn Lexington and Concord of a coming military raid on April 18th, 1775. Revere's role in the revolution was larger than that, however. He was a member of the Sons of Liberty, yes, and the Continental Congress, yes, and a participant in the Boston Tea Party. By trade, Revere was a silversmith and one of the most skilled craftsmen in the colonies. He also did copper plate engraving, most notably the image of the Boston Massacre that depicts British soldiers firing into the unarmed crowd at point blank range. A very effective piece of propaganda. You get very little copper plate propaganda these days. It's a dying art. <laughs> Revere was also a shrewd businessman and he went where the money was. Hey, that's me. When silver work wasn't paying the bills, he made dental tools. And when gunpowder was scarce during the Revolutionary War, he built a gunpowder mill. Oh my God, <laughs> imagine. Hey, those are some real side hustles right there. After the war ended, Revere expanded his business into bell forging, eventually making the bell that hangs in King's Chapel, a Boston landmark. I've never seen that in person, so I can't wait to see that. I like how this man went from silver work to dental tools to gunpowder to making a belt like <laughs> that makes no sense bro hey people back then they just had all kinds of skills i'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help why don't you come along well it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice says the man who owns a slave <laughs> Ooh, sorry I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. Against it. There you go. Let's focus first on defending our rights. 
When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. Ah, you speak okay. As though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. Seize this madman as soon as possible. You offer excuses instead of solutions. There it is. All people should be. Oh, he was. Hey, I'm mad that they cut that off. He was the preaching. Dexman say, the gums in Parliament who want to take my property. You tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves. It's not open for discussion now. Open this door, or these men will break it down. Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in. Did he just throw at him? I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. He's right, though. All people should be treated equally. Is, that all you have? Is Connor wrong? Come on, Sam Adams. Speak against on, it. I saved you. So what's up? Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> fight like puppies. Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. All right, well, I'll hit you with an IOU, I guess. Okay, I understand why they call them lobsters, okay? I know I was making fun of that in the last episode, but it makes sense. Somebody in the comment section also explained it too, and I was like, oh yeah, true. <laughs> I guess I wasn't thinking about it on the spot, but it makes a whole lot of sense why they're named lobsters. Since they have red coats, they do look like lobsters. All right, I have to join Sam Adams at the meeting. What's up ahead? So Sam Adams owns a slave, just one slave? And it's a woman? I wonder if we'll meet her. Uh oh, can't go that way. Everybody keeps asking me if I'm going to play Liberation. I am. I hope I answered a lot of your guys' questions because um, I got that question a lot in the last video. We will be playing Liberation and I do have it because I bought the remaster. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball. You know that guy. Red goats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle and I may know the play. Y'all serious about your tea, man. I don't know what's going on over there in the East Coast. Connor, I love head tea. back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. 
If you should need us, return here. All right, well, I guess people ain't getting their tea. They're going to be so happy people. <laughs> All this over some taxes on some tea? Oh, pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Was that Indian tea? What did that box say on it? Yeah, India tea. Oh, wait, what? Dispose of the tax collectors? Oh, I get to just kill random people? Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's a lot of y'all. There's a lot of y'all. Oh, they're backing up. They're about to shoot. Maybe not. Normally they shoot. Oh, they're, they're about to. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, what the heck? It didn't give me a indication. There it is. Oh, whoa. Our notoriety is crazy right now. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, our notoriety is going to be really high. Oh, here's some more of those guys. No, no, no. Oh, he's, he's using his fist. Sword is really fun to use. Oh, what's this guy doing? Okay. Whoa, what the? Can I not counter these guys? Nice. Yo. I have to break his defense. There it is. Got him. What was that, Connor? Woo! <laughs> let's go to the Tomahawk for a little while. And then let's use our pistol. Wow. Y'all saw that, right? Yeah, we're... We're going to get attacked a lot. Okay. Should be able to kill that guy right there. There you go. Oh, uh, he didn't die? Come on. Break his defense. Ah, uh, they're rolling on me. I don't want to fight all you guys, though. That's the thing. Oh, there's a lot of you. There's a lot of you. Ah! Nice. Music's getting intense. Oh, I didn't know you could throw them into each other like that. That was cool. Woo! <laughs> get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Yes! Oh. Oh my God. He put the guy in a headlock and shot his head. That was kind of nuts. Whoa. Can you get up? That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Whoa, big guy. Oh, don't let him do that. 
Oh, there's a lot of, uh... Yeah, I might want to run. Oh, God. Can I... No, I can't do that right now. Shoot. Oh, there's a guy over here. All right, we need to go anonymous. We got to lose him. Things are getting a little too crazy. These guys are kind of fast. Jeez. Check this out. Okay. I think we're going to be good. They're not going to be able to find us in here. I don't think. Now nah, they're walking right past. Cool. Woo! We did really good, though. Don't do what I think you're going to do. Oh, they're over here fighting? Oh, my God. What is really going on? I'm out. I didn't think they were going to start having like an all out war out here. Jeez, look at them. All right, well, we'll let them fight. That's completely fine with me. I feel like if I shoot that, that wouldn't be good because there's people by it. Hold on. Wait a year to reload, you know? Oh, it says limit firearm use. So don't shoot them. God. Like, what's up with that? Can I push that into the water? Oh, I can plant something. Hold up. It said plant. You have a bomb or something? Oh, we have little bombs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Awesome. Oh, there's a lot of guys over here, guys. Oh, he didn't see me good. All right, we're going to plant this bomb and just dip. We should be able to do this pretty stealthily. Oh, I have to reload. Crap. All right, well, maybe I'll fight him. You know what? Let's try something. Let's let's let them both come in. No, don't don't let them don't don't do that. Let me see if I can get a double. Okay, let's see. Maybe if we do this just right. No. I want them both to go in. I haven't done that yet. I don't think it's going to work. Not like this. Okay. We'll get it eventually. Now's not the time, I guess. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, we're destroying their tea, guys. <laughs> Can you believe this? Out of all the things in the world that we could be destroying, it had to be tea. <laughs> Man, people love their tea. tea. Tea is literally like drugs out there, man. I'm telling you. Ridiculous. Ah, still not going to be able to get it off. All right, well. You might want to move, dude. Yeah, like, dude, you might want to. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my 
my dear lord. No, that guy was stupid, guys. Let's keep it real. That guy, he just sat there. I, I like how the game didn't punish me for just going through with that and killing him. Dang it. I was just about to put my notoriety down. Bro, really? Come on. Ooh, oh, the horse saved me. Oh. Oh. Ah! I did it. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That was cool. <laughs> Yo, we're making it look easy out here. That's ridiculous. Upon your conduct may depend the fate of many of your peers. Look at Like, did you see that? How I moved out the way, the other guy stabbed the other his his little ally and like, ah, oh, that was great. Woo. Nothing is better than Assassin's Creed 3. All right, we can go this way. Liberate the district from Templar influence. Are we still intercepting the uh, the smugglers? It doesn't have a number on it. So the colonial homes aren't very big, as you can tell. Like, it's not an established city like Constantinople or Florence, Venice and such. So it's still kind of fun to like travel around here, though, for the most part. Let's get them. Oh, nice. Okay, looks like we got them all. Let's make sure there's no more homestead missions. I think to check, you have to actually like go onto those sections of the map. Let me, mm, okay, let's do one more mission then. Let's do one more. Siphon, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed. What do you mean? Who Where cares? Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. What are you doing? Oh man, don't do anything wild. This isn't gonna be good. Let's use our rope darts. Are you about to attack these guys right oh, here? Regardez. Some pathetic red coats waiting for a beating. All right. I will match your face to your Let's shut it down. Capule. He's not under attack. He's good. Bro, you're really going to go around and harass Redcoats? His father died? <laughs> this guy is so furious, bro. I get it. They did. They did you wrong. They did your family wrong, but you're not armed enough. Oh, look at these guys up here. Is that where he's going? Oh, wait, what the heck? He brought a whole crowd of people with him. We are not the king's men. We are free. Oh. Nope. Come here. Stefan, please stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things. I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. They're gonna know his fury. We're doing all the work, though. You looking for a fight, I... <laughs> Look at this guy, man. What a clown. Oh, God. 
it's getting attacked now. I mean, at least earlier he had a crowd with him. I like how he's so riled up that he just riles up everyone around him. They're like, you know what? I want to fight too. He's right. Hey, Red Ghost, your king. Oh God. Whoa. This is no good. Bro, hold your own a little bit, please. He can't. Ah, uh, I'm getting worked. I am getting worked. Oh, God. Got him. Yes. There we go. Whew. Kick me out of my home. Now they want to take my new home. Stefan, come on. You've already fought enough. I'm taking this gun with me because things are getting heated. Uh oh. You got to rile these guys up here. Yep. Of course he is. Did I just kill a civilian? I'm sorry. There we go. But this is not it. Yeah, listen to Connor. This isn't right. You're one guy. You are literally one man. You're not Superman. Apparently I am. <laughs> so I'm killing all of them. Yeah, he's gonna rile these guys. Your face to your jacket, I'm probably gonna go back and like try to get the full sink. You stupid mackerel. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his team <laughs> just spontaneously combusted. Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Use your assassin recruits. Huh? Lock onto a target and press LB to send your allies to assassinate your selected. Oh, is that just him? Is he my assassin recruit? Oh, bloody hell are you. What a way to enter. <laughs> Why? You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. Yeah, you've already done it. You might as well kill him. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. I'm not grateful. I want more than that. Where's my beer? Assassination ability sends a recruit. So, okay, so we can recruit people. 
like the last couple of games look for missing with this icon yeah it's completely similar too yeah i see them they're all around okay so this reminds me of revelations and brotherhood cool maybe i should do that for a little bit yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go get some recruits i'll be back okay so there's a lot of homestead missions over here so we're gonna knock these things out since there's so many hello what's going on over here thank god you are here what happened Y'all just came here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. No. And when it's sick, what if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy. No way. She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. I don't know, but this is not good. There's too many random men out here. You can't be just walking up in the forest all by yourself. All right, let's see if we can find her. She picked some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. All right, we'll do that then. Looks like there's something else up here. Where are you? Piece of cloth. All right, we're getting closer to her. She's somewhere around here. Oh, there's another one over here. Her flower bag. Connor, anything yet? Um, oh. Oh, crap. Just getting attacked by a bear? All right. We got to bring out the pistol. Oh my god. The bear slapped her though. So much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages Connor, fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. Aww. I understand. Not another word on the matter. I feel so bad. Prudence! Prudence! He's worried sick, too. Are you alright, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. I love these two. They're such a cute couple. So wholesome. Now we got level two goods. So I kind of figured out the stockpile convoy system that they got going on, like the whole trading thing. So you can, I'm not going to say I broke it. I think I just understand how to make a lot of money off of it. If you go out and you get pelts and you sell them or you trade them or whatever, you send them off on the convoys, you can make a lot of money. And when I mean a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. So for the most part, just keep trading off all your pelts that you gather and stack up on the money. The stockpiling, I noticed that like when you have your artisan, right? Your artisan can create things for you. So if you want like certain materials and stuff that you need to like craft, you want to go into your stockpile and then ask your artisans to make it. And obviously it also shows your, all the things that you've gathered, right? All of your like wood flowers materials any of anything in that matter it all shows in the stockpile but yeah for trading i just noticed just throw a bunch of pelts in there and tell your people to sell them and make a money make a ton of money could you make a little more noise who is this oh miriam been fixing to trap a cougar i've seen prowling about 
The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. Stay quiet. I think you don't really want to do the trading and stockpiling until you get like really far in the game though. Because you need to level up your homestead as much as possible. All right, she said to stay quiet, so. I mean, all I can do is run or walk, girl. It's one of the other, it's a white cougar? I haven't seen one of those yet. All right, let's stay on guard. See, she can crouch down, but you know what, girl? I can't. Got his trail yet. Ubisoft logic, baby. Of those claw marks. Whoa. Better shoot true. Those claw marks are huge. All right. Oh, the last clue is over here. So let's get it. He's a taste for fresh meat. Seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes. Oh, crap. We won't get another chance at this. Oh, oh. Whoa. Come on, Connor. We won't see him again He's after this. He's beautiful. This is our only shot. Hurry up. He is so beautiful. All right. I don't want to damage the pelt. Let's use the bow. Oh, jeez. Where'd he go? Oh, he went this way. Norris? Oh, Norris is just down here randomly. Well, I shot him. What's up, Norris? You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out, and the other waits out here to shoot. That sounds I'm risky. Going. Girl, get ready. This is so cool, dude. These missions are awesome. Whoa! Nice shot. Thank you, Miriam. That was close. Good thing she's a good shot. Cause that could have ended very poorly. But now she can produce level two goods. Awesome. You can hear the wolves off in the distance. That's so awesome. Okay, and then we have one more, I think. It is right here. Let's head on down there. Okay, here we are. This is the last homestead mission that we have right now. Let's check it out. Who is this? I don't remember you. Connor. Burglar on the homestead? Connor! Connor! Some lights trying to break into our house! Oh crap. He's armed. I'm getting the boys. Aw, wait, you have kids? Lady. Find them. I will handle it. Okay, well, let me get my tomahawk out. And let's pull out the pistol. What's going on up here? What the Stop. heck? Oh, you heard Connor? He was not happy about that, was he? All right, we're going to get this guy. What a creep, bro. Look at you hopping on rocks. I got you. I'm gonna be able to keep up too. Look at this. I can hop on rocks. Something's amiss. Excuse me. Oh, those are the guys. Oh, I'm not fast enough. Crap. Okay. Let me use the trees. Jeez, 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 jeez. I hope he doesn't get away. Yo, this music is fire, though. Please, mister, don't hurt me. Begging your mercy, sir. I didn't mean it. it. Won't happen again, I swear. I won't come back here. 
I promise. Uh, just leave me be, mister. Do I have to kill him? Why? I mean, he, he was kind of sorry. I guess I had to. What's the trouble, Connor? So you tear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? The women. Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? <laughs> I told you to head back. I didn't I need to. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? <laughs> if Diana's hurt, I swear you'll be the one. Oh my god, those guys, all they do is bicker, man. All right, so we help them out. The Lumberers, Godfrey and Terry. Got the level two goods, baby. There was a trinket out there. You saw it? It was on the map. I have great news for you guys, by the way. Yeah, we're going to go down here and get this trinket real quick. I have great news for you guys. So I have been talking to my landlord about getting new internet because the internet that I currently have right now is not good. So I've been waiting a while. I, 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 I kind of had a plan where I wanted to upgrade my internet in the wintertime because the wintertime is usually where I, when I want to upload like crazy. So I've been talking to her about it. I just got a new router slash modem and we're going to upgrade the internet tomorrow. I'm super hyped, man. It has been so hard to upload videos, especially as long as my videos are with the internet that we currently have. It is bad. It's so slow. But now with this new internet, we're getting gigabyte internet. Oh, it's going to be so much better. I can't wait. I'm going to be able to upload consistently. Not like I haven't already. It's going to be so much easier for me. So I got that new laptop when we played um, Assassin's Creed Revelations. The Revelations let, uh, Let's Play that's been helping me with editing. That, lap that laptop has been super useful. And now we'll be getting the new internet and that'll help out too. And like, ah, uh, consecration is going to be so much fun now. Hopefully I'll be able to stream. I won't stream Assassin's Creed though. I kind of want my Let's Plays to remain recorded. I'm not really into uh, doing Let's Plays live just because, uh, I don't know. I'm one of those people that's just better with recording. Like I pay attention to the story a lot better. I feel like when I'm in a live stream, I'm so focused on chat and then I'm not really paying attention to what's going on in the game and I can't really focus on you know, getting better at the game or even paying attention to the story. I'm not a live streamer, man. Live streaming is not for everyone. Um, I am, I'm good at talking. I mean, it's not like I'm not entertaining when I'm live or anything like that. It's just that it's really hard for me to do all of it. You know, I think if I were to live stream let's plays, my live streams would not be very interactive. Like, they would pretty much be like you come you guys coming in and just watching me play a game pretty much <laughs> i would probably like rarely talk to chat i probably would like set times where i would talk to chat like take a break and talk to chat but for the most part it would be like watching me record live that's pretty much it i wouldn't be interacting with chat that much i'd be just focused on the game probably 90 percent of the time except for the breaks or the times where we're like grinding or you know when things are slow Oh, we need to go this way. I was going the wrong way. Oops. I wanted to go to the homestead thing. My bad. Well, yeah, that's all I had to say. Okay, we are here. Master Connor! Master Connor! Dad and Godfrey are fighting! You need to stop it! What? Why? <laughs> Alright, kids. Take me there. Oop, wrong button. It's this one. There we go. I don't know why I want to keep hitting LB there for some reason. I love the music here. Oh, they really are fighting. Hey, yo, chill. Uh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Look at this mini game. 
This is awesome. I'm gonna smash you, you looby. Oh, no, 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 no. This is hard, bro. What the heck? What? Oh, oh, oh. Me, oh no. This is actually like legit hard. I'm like I've never played a mini game like this before. <laughs> beat you oh. This is super creative. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, time I set you straight. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh. Y'all gotta admit. Like, I don't know. My brain doesn't function like I'm this. Hold on. Smash you, you I'm gonna beat you senseless. Dude, my brain is hurting while doing this. <laughs> oh, time I set you oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Woo! I did it. I did it. <laughs> All right, let's talk to them. Make sure this fight's never going to happen again. That mini game was so cool for some reason. Like having to move the left stick this way and then the right stick that way. And then sometimes the right stick goes away and you break up. It's just like, ah, You're it's right. a brain teaser. There's no need for this. Yeah, he's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. That's the cool thing about guys. They don't hold grudges, man. They fight and then they make up. All right, let's see what's going on over here. You not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. <laughs> it's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. All right, well, we're just making sure you guys are good. You know what I mean? Like, let's chill out. Yeah, usually with guys, they fight a little bit. They make up later, unless... Unless a girl is involved. If a woman's involved, it gets a little messy. But it looks like no women were involved in that fight, so I think they'll be all right. I think they will be just fine. Should we do the peg leg something over here? Maybe we should do that. I think I have enough trinkets. Possibly. Got some more? Let's have a look then. If you've been trying to run a rig, I won't have it. Find some more. I need more. Okay. Well, we tried. What's going on over here? Oh, the book's here. Oh, because we can upgrade. Okay, I want to upgrade this. Ooh, heat shot. An extra cannon. That sounds cool. Let's improve. Oh, I don't have enough funds. Oof, this stuff on here is expensive. Well, we can do a piercing round. Stefan, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. Mm. He died on the field. But I'm told he That's fought horrible. ferociously. It matters later. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope. That he smiles upon the choices I've made. Aww. I hope he does too. 
Connor, do you have time to sit? Do you I just do. sit with him and have stories? I have been meaning to ask you. How did you come to Aziz? I did not ask for it, but I feel it was meant to happen. I was just a boy when I met Achilles. He made me a warrior. <laughs> Is that easy? I miss the kitchen, if you can believe it. I had more control in that world than I ever will in the one we inhabit. But more people get to taste the fruit of my labor in this line of work. Yeah, that's and facts. That, I am satisfied. We may change things yet if we press on. Frenchmen from the north never grow weary. Just ask the women. <laughs> All right, let's leave. Here we are. Cargo and all. Aye, but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them leave. Wants us to take the tea, pay the duties, and say thank you kindly to the king. The king can kindly kiss my arse. Oh. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You can kiss it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have we of resisting if we're arguing amongst ourselves? Exactly. I think this game is really fitting that we're playing it right around the time Thanksgiving's about to hit. Thanksgiving's in like two weeks. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? Uh -oh. I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Uh-oh. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? This guy is sus. Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Okay, so you guys are with me? Is this the Boston Tea Party? No, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can stand right there. Maybe. Oh, look at this. I guess I could go up here. It doesn't really do much for me, though. Let's get him. I'm up here with the bow. Oh, crap. Yeah. I got you, Stefan. Don't worry. All right, now we need to go this way. I guess we don't have to do this stealthily. We could just go in. Uh oh. Gosh. Hi. Fight him, fight him. Oh crap. Woo! Get him. Get him, Connor. 
Fight him, fight him. What? Get him off me. I hate it when they do that. Ugh. Whistling at. I can't do it like that. Throw that tea in the water. Yeah! F your tea. My boy Paul Revere, a certified snitch. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's being dumped. Let me up. I'm yours to command. All right, we got to throw their tea in the water. Dump crates of tea in the water. Should be easy enough. Look at all this tea we're wasting. That's terrible. Tea was such a hot commodity back then, huh? This is kind of fun. He wants me to throw 10 of them, so... I'm just speedrunning this. Can't believe my boy Paul Revere is fighting. That's kind of nuts. There's some on this side. It wants me to throw three of them into the water. Okay. Well, that's one. What's weird about throwing in this game, though, you can't grab them like you could in the other games. In the other games, you could grab people and throw them. Throw them over. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fight these guys. I'm still in the area. Oh, wow. They shot him. Come on. Oh, why did you shoot him? I was going to throw him in the water. What the heck? Okay, here we go. I didn't even throw, I didn't throw him in the water and it still gave it to me. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, can you do a counter with the bow? That'd be insane. No, but you can do a cool shot. I was like, am I about to be on my Legolas? Like, that'd be kind of cool. Well, they want me to still throw some tea in the water. What the heck? Here we go. Oh, there's more on this side. Gotta help Paul. Jeez. What a weird place to fight. It's kind of awkward to fight there. Oh, look at this man here. Ugh. I wish you could board ships, dude. Like when we're on, when we're set, set, ah, when we're on the seas. If you could board ships, that'd be so cool. In the Assassin's Creed 4 trailer, they showed him boarding ships. Ooh. Bye. Well, maybe not. Oh, God. Paul Revere is getting messed up over here. We're so close, though. 
Yes. We've done it. True Americans. <laughs> that guy, he was like. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hunter? We saved the last one for you. My honors? Hey, hey, hey. Watch this. You see this? You see your tea? We're done with it. Ah. Look at his face, man. I've never seen a man more angry. The best we get out of here. All right. Did I fail one? What didn't I do? Memento unlocked. Oh, I didn't do the musket air assassination. Oh, we can read about the Boston Tea Party. Tea chest destroyed. A most curious and remarkable event took place on Griffin's Wharf, Boston Thursday, 16th of, the, of December. An assemblage of individuals dressed in buckskin with faces painted in the fashion of Indian natives convened at the wharf and proceeded to board the Dartmouth, the Eleanor and the Beaver in orderly manner. These Indians, or perhaps no, as was the general discernment of those who witnessed these events, equipped themselves with small hatchets, which they denominated as tomahawks. These ships held within their cargoes chests of tea, numbering three to four hundred. The, commandeer, or the commanders of the vessels had publicly declared that if the rebels, as they were pleased to style the Bostonians, should not withdraw their opposition to the landing of the tea before the following day. They should on that day force it on shore under the cover of their cannon's mouth. Once aboard, the presumative Indians opened the hatches and made to take out the chests of tea and threw them overboard, first cutting and splitting the chests with their tomahawks so as thoroughly to expose them to the effects of the water. In about three hours, they had thus broken and thrown overboard every tea chest to be found in the ships. During the time they were throwing the tea overboard, there were several attempts made by some of the citizens of Boston in its vicinity to carry off small quantities of tea for their family use as they should to affect that object that would watch their opportunity to snatch up a handful from the deck where it became plentiful, plentifully scattered and put into their pockets. Some of these same were met with kicks and hooting by the presumative Indians. Earlier on this day, there was a meeting of the citizens of the county of Suffolk convened at Old South in Boston for the purpose of consulting on what measures might be considered expedient to prevent the landing of the tea or secure the people from the collection of the duty. At that meeting, no satisfactory answer was obtained after inquiries were sent to Governor Hutchinson and Mr. Adams concluded with the observation that the meeting could do nothing further to save the country. Beyond the chests of tea, there was no damage done to any of the ships. The destroyers of the chests were seen to sweep the decks clean of tea leaves after the chests had been thrown to sea. Oh, at least they cleaned up after themselves. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, where are you going? I think that thing's gonna get away. It looks like it will. Yeah. I don't think I'm getting that. Oh, well, maybe. Nope. It juked me last minute. Come on, come on, come on. Can you get it? Can you get it? Mm, maybe. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Now it's gone. It's lost. All right. Looks like we need to leave here and go back here and see what's going on here in the homestead. We did most of the homestead missions. Let me make sure there's no more missions. Doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go this way then. Okay, 
Louise, what's up? What's going on here? It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. Probably. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Ooh, that might have been a bad move. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have Yikes. heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you oh, tell me where no. they're meeting? This is not good at all, guys. All right, well, can I fast travel there? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's see what's going on. Probably should have killed him. Achilles was right there. Oh, jeez. I hope he doesn't set fire to the village. They done that once already. What's going on? Is he not gonna dare to eat canoes today? Ne Johnson's you just dare to rocks that. Gua he can see what ne canoes hard at them get them. The gua dare hard at gua canto. fast travel over there no there's no point why is it telling me that I have to reach that area undetected whoa Oh, that scared me, guys. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how bad that scared me. All right, so we can't go that way. Let's go down. I was like, is something flying at me? I thought it was like a plane or something. I was like, there should not be planes in this era. Oh, the music is dark here. Okay, so... Go this way. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Should I keep going this way here? Or should we go this way? Let's try this way. Okay, we have some notoriety. <gasps> okay, that's not a good way to go. This should be better. Oh, crap. Can I go in this bush? Yes, I can. All right, we're going to wait for him. I hate that I keep hitting that button. It's so annoying. Oh, crap. I got detected. No, I so messed that up. I thought I could reach him from that bush right there, but I couldn't. Oh, well. Uh. 
We are all one, yeah, okay. By signing our land sure. To you, then we'll be as one in your debt forever. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are know. here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Oh no. Don't start shooting people. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Okay then, chief. There's a lot of guys though. We're going to assassinate this guy though. Oh, they see me. Oh, okay, no they don't. Do you still go? Oh wait, they're shooting. Crap. Ah! Got him. Yes. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. It's not time, wrong. They'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Yeah. I, because they would not listen. And so... It seems, what? Neither will you. Okay then, sir. I was Nayate Hagum, sir. I'm the Hia, you miss Ghana's is a good hajj. Hopefully, he finds that peace. Oh, it's time to fight. Escape the zone, come anonymous. I can't let my people die. I gotta fight. Oh, they just slaughtered my people, bro. What the heck? I don't think that was smart now. I think about it, Connor. Get rid of this guy. Crazy. Oh. That was right on beat too. Ugh, get out of my way. All right, now we can escape the area. Oh yeah, we're gonna escape nice too. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Get out of there, get out of there. Perfect. All right, well, we killed William Johnson. We didn't do very good on that mission, though. But we beat the sequence.
William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Oh. Seems we've company. I don't know if he'll be able to do it when what the time it? comes. A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Oh. Where am I to go? Oh, <laughs> he switched up. If you'd like, I can. Whoa, he really switched up. Yeah, he's not happy about that at all. Okay, well, let's do it. Yo, check this out, guys. We can wear all of the Ubisoft clubs outfits now so we can check out edward kenway's outfit if we wanted to jacob fry's shea cormix bayix if we wanted to i don't know i feel like that would break my immersion though i kind of want to just chill out with the outfit that i have currently i kind of like this i wish you could swap this out during the missions like the during the naval missions and put this on that'd be so dope i guess i could do it before i go into the missions but let me see how Ezio's outfit looks on him. Oh my god. <laughs> I freaking love it, dude. It's awesome. I've seen it so much, so I don't need to wear it now because I really like his default outfit, but it is kind of nice to see that again. Okay, here we are. Another homestead mission. What's up? How you guys doing? Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie. This is Connor, the man I was talking about, the Lord of a Manor. We were passing through his hall and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty and we had some barrels in the back. And I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. There you go. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? A humble we king. We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on a round bar. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> we would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. Aww. Let's do it. It's so awesome to see them all together like that. Ooh, I got to give them an investment. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. But it's a good use. 
Whoa! Oh, that's gonna be so awesome to chill out at. Look at they got people here. Cool. All right, so that's another thing that we did homestead mission wise. Oh, there's another one up here. Let's go to it. Good thing it's right next to the fast travel point. And it's at Achilles house. To be exact. Is that? Oh, that's still here. The Tomahawk is still here, guys. Okay, I couldn't find it. I don't know what I was really particularly looking for, but I do remember somebody saying that there's like some kind of special thing that's by the homestead. I just don't remember how to do it off top. Karma, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually the right piece will present itself. As you wish. What's about to happen? Am There's I at the a chest in a cave on the edge of the property? Oh, could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Okay, we can do that. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. Okay, we could definitely do that. Talk to Norris about his explosives. Yeah, we'll go do that right now, Achilles. We got you. Okay, here I am. Oh, Norris is down here. Let's go. Here's Norris. What's up? How have you been? Norris, I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Nice. Explosive. Follow Norris to the cave entrance. Miriam is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. I think he likes her. That cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no husband? Ah. Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman like her before. Hmm. I would like to know her better. Okay. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? Maybe. Doesn't hurt to try. I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. What problem? We blew it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover. Should I just shoot it? I'll shoot it. Nice. Ah, that's a nice one. Thank you. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. BNV? Be careful. I'll be at the mine. And what you said about Miriam is interesting. All right, man. Hey, go get it. Go do your thing. I'm cheering him on for sure. Whoa. Whoa, this is kind of cool. I think I got to go this way, though. Uh. I don't think this is a good idea. You can get trapped down here. That's the last thing we want. Hey, yo, Connor is brave because I would not be doing this. Oh, what the heck, Achilles? Why'd you send me down here? I better not die. Ah! Holy crap! I hope there's another way out. This better be good. 
This better be like a legendary weapon. Something. What did he get? Oh, crap. Oh. This is no good. I don't even know what I got. I came down here for something. I don't even know what it is. Ah, jump, jump, jump. Okay, Connor, you got this. Go, 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 go. This is exactly why you don't go doing this. This cave exploration. Oh, this is no good. Was this the right way, guys? I'm not sure. I think it'll still take us to where we need to go. That was close. Whoa. Uh, oh. That slide was kind of cool. Woo. Yo. That we made close. it. Very close. Sorry, little fox. I need that pelt. All right, let's take this back to Achilles then. Oh, I can't fast travel right now? Why? Can I go here? Oh no, I can't fast travel at all. Fine then. I guess I am going back there by horseback. Okay, Achilles, I am here. After traveling so far. Is he downstairs? Possibly. It means we have to hit this real quick. I want to know what it is. I hope it's something good. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, I can tell. What is that? Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Whoa. The first assassin to come to the colonies? Am I wearing it or do I need to go in here? Traditional colonial assassin. This one looks cool too though. The colonial assassin outfit is based on the one worn by the first assassin of the colonies, Don De La Torre. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> that's super cool. Oh, I kind of like these. Should I wear it, guys? Or should... Nah, 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 nah. I like the hood, though. I like the hood. The hat throws it off for me. I really like the hood. There are so many homestead missions. This is ridiculous. I've done so many. What's up, Norris? Norris. Um, you know Miriam? Oh my god. Of course. Yes. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. <laughs> Do I look like Hitch? Uh, right. Do I look like Will Let me Smith? Call on Prudence. She may be of service. Prudence might know. Maybe. I like how he asked me to go ask Prudence. Like, bro. It's less thoughtful if I go pick it out. You need to go figure it out, bro. 
What a what a guy thing to do, man. <laughs> I'm so dead. All right, well, let's see what Prudence says. Oh, jump, my horse, jump. Maybe like a necklace or something? That'd be cute. Prudence. Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you women like in terms of gifts? A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my oh, day. Oh, that's good too. Who is it Norris fancies? Best not say for now. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I love Connor, man. I like how he walks up to Prudence and he's like, hey, so what do you women like? <laughs> what do you women fancy? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's just like generalized. He's just like, ah! <laughs> that's a jump scare, bro. Yama. Bro, what the heck is this game? <laughs> bro, what a horror game, bro. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> what do women like? <laughs> oh, that was great. That made my day. And then she asked, so what woman? Because, you know, not all of us women like the same things. And he's just like, you know, let's keep it to just, it's a woman. <laughs> That's all you need to know. I don't think Prudence would have told Miriam that Connor was looking for a gift for him, for her. But I get it, Connor, you know. He's just trying to be a good friend. All right, I think we made it. Look, I'm, I'm going through some trials and tribulations. I'm not even getting a woman. What is this? So this is backwards, bro. Now I gotta go all the way back. I better be rewarded finally for what I'm doing, bro. I put in so much work for these flowers. Wait, who's in the outhouse? Horace, are you in there? Bro, let him go to the bathroom. Uh, we? Oh, I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? What are you doing in there? Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. Boy, I will knock that whoopee cushion off your head. Give this girl the flowers. Special iron ingot. I guess I'll take that. That's good enough reward for me. I get, oh my God, look at two more homestead missions just popped up. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna try this peg leg mission. Got some more? Let's have a look then. More keepers, good on ya. I'd say that's worth another letter. Nice. I will be back for the rest. Now we need 14 for the next one. New destination unlocked in naval map. Letter to Abel Owens. To Abel Owens. It has been a turn since we last tipped our tankards together, and it will likely be a spell longer as I am in hiding off the coast of Massachusetts. 
I doubt this isle has even been graced with a name. The king's men are breathing down my nape, and quarters are too close for comfort. What you will find in this package is a scroll of the greatest value to me, something that I hold dear above all the blunder and jewels that I have scattered across the globe. Something that must remain secret, and as such, I must order you not to open it or read it. Carry it with you at all times and protect it, and what lies, in, what lies inside with your life until I find you. It's taken me longer than I anticipated to get rid of myself of those who stalk me, but you know as well as I, it is only a matter of time before I shake them for good. Be wary and wise. Captain William Kidd. Let's do it. Okay, so... This is the chase. That's Boston. Oh, it's all the way out here. All right, let's do this. Brave the perilous cliffs to recover a kid's map. Let's do it, matey. Dead Chest Island. Ship's graveyard's just around the point. Can't miss it. The men say Abel Owens was aboard one of the doomed vessels. If it's true, you'll find what's left of him here. Scavengers love the graveyard, so be on your guard. The opposite side of the cliff. If Abel Owens' ship wrecked around here, they must have been looking for something themselves. Oh, can I not go up there? I can't go straight up here like this. Maybe here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got a back eject here. Nice. Hey, it's kind of hard to see like where you can climb here. Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty. All right, let's go all the way up. Another ship. Scavengers. Oh, that can't be good. Put that down. Oh, piss off. I found it. Tis mine. Oh, it's a piece of the map. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, wait, we got to go down here. I found it. What you carry is mine. Whoa, Connor. He's angry. Oh, crap. Not that easy. Jeez. Oh my goodness! Check this guy out. Whoa! Ugh. I love the running assassinations. That was a cool addition to this game. Why are you taking? I've done nothing wrong. Stop and give me what I came for. <laughs> Hand it over. Sorry, mate. Looks like you lost this treasure hunt. Nah. That's what you think. Whoa. Gone. Whoa. That was cool. Get him. I don't know why I didn't do the running assassination earlier. near the wolves abode dang all that just, <laughs> just for that one little piece that was another cool shot we should do another natal naval mission mission complete that was a quick mission though. That was not hard at all. We beat it really easily. All right, let's do another one. Let's do the chase. Investigate disturbances off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. I thought we did this one already. 
Hey, we did this one. Why is it still here? Hold on, let me see some. Maybe I did it. Good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By oh. guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. Maybe I should have watched that cutscene. That was my bad. I thought we already did this. I guess we didn't. Pick this boat up. Up ahead. Sails ahoy! British gunboats after one of the vineyard ships, Captain. We must protect her. Whoa! Can we? Here we go. Here we go! Keep the gunboats off until she reaches the vineyard. Oh, jeez. Um, shoot that one. Nice. <sighs> yeah, this is so cool. Someone said that it's an unpopular opinion, but they said that the ship combat was better than this game than in four i was surprised by that i haven't heard that opinion before oh oh hold on the big cannons are we gonna hit them yes sir all right we need to go this way the grape shot's really nice. That's really nice to use. All right, let's see if we can get it off right here. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, crap. They're about to hit us. Oh, God. Look at this ship here. Woo! All right, let's see if we can hit them. I hope we don't hit that rock. Ah! Oh, we're on the other side of the rock. That's not good. All right, full sail, full sail. She can't take much more of that. Yeah, I know. I messed up. What are you doing, Captain? That ship needs our help. I know, I know, I know. We need to protect the civilian ship. I know. She can't take much more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed up. This is kind of punishing. Okay. Shoot that one. Cannon's at the ready. Okay. We did it. I was a little nerve-wracking. Mines. Mines, Captain. Hey, oh, nobody Destroy told me about these. To our advantage. Either way, avoid the blasted things. To our advantage, how? Shoot the plumbing things with our swivels when our targets get too close. Aye, aye. Okay. That's fun. Let's go half sail. I hope that boat doesn't run into them. I guess I miss. Get him. Oh, they tried to shoot me with their cannons. You saw that? That was awesome. I am cheesing. This is so fun.
All right, we need to take them out. They're on the right here. Should be able to just hit them with the cannons. Oh, crap. There's mines. Oh, look at the mines up ahead. Whoa. That's a lot of mines. There it is. <gasps> ah! I'm a true pirate. That was fun. I like how you had to navigate around the rocks. And as you're navigating around the rocks, they're sending ships at now, you. But it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. Oh, snap. All right. That one got away. Let's go full sail. Woo! They fared north. Not there, but an abandoned fort. Oh, I see. I guess we got to head there then. Ooh, we could kind of snipe them from here. Oh God, look at this. Here we go. What fort? What fort? Ah! Oh no! That lock sail, sail, sail. Well, it is there, Mr. Faulkner. And it's too close to the vineyard. Diamond Tide waits for no man. Take out your towers. Nice driving, Captain. I'm trying. Woo! I might be a true pirate, y'all. Like, for real. Hold on. How do I shoot it? Maybe like that? Jeez. Those mortars messed us up. Cancel shot. I'm turning this sucker. It's not easy. It's easier at half sail. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I am trying my best. Here we go. Here we go. We're shooting mortars again. Ah! All right, let's do this. Shoot him. Got him. I hate how you can't shoot the swivels at them. Half so, half so! Whoa! Alright, right here, right here, right here. Shoot him. Yeah, I'm driving for real out here. True captain. Here we go. All right, yeah, we need to. Get out of 
bad. I'm getting destroyed. We got him. Get down, get down, get down. Nice driving, Captain. When he says nice driving, Captain, I actually feel really good about that. Okay, here we go. Raw away! That is bad aim. Okay, stop, it's stop, it's stop. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get the cannons ready, get the cannons ready. This is it, this is it. Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Whew. That fort won't be troubling anybody no more. Nope. Bloody English have gone too far this time. That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. Templars. What they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. Y'all see my swag on the Throw my swag on. Hey, bro. Why does my man look so sick? Connor looks dope with the, the captain outfit on. So it does switch to the captain outfit when you do a naval mission, which is cool. I thought I was going to have to do that manually. All right. The next homestead mission. What you guys doing here? Happy expectation. Wait, whoa. Do they have a baby? You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Ah! Congratulations. That's so great. It's been a long time coming. It does present a slight problem. However, what? there's no doctor for miles. Well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. I can do that. Lyle White. Let's head on over to Boston then. And uh, see if we can find him. Okay, so I made it. Let's jump down. Boom. Hello. Dr. White? No, he's the drunken solder on the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. <laughs> I'll on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. I like that guy. I agree with him. He should quit. Dang, people were just quitting like that back then? I mean, say, hey, I can get another job. Screw this. I quit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting beat up. Oh, Connor. You're supposed to just fight them, not break their neck. Jeez. Okay. Dr. White. Yes. My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me. I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White death. No? White death? I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Ha! They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. This guy, haha, <laughs> that made him get up. He's like, hey, yo, I think I'm gonna leave this town. Bro, what the heck, man? I just, I, I love these missions. These missions are so much fun. <laughs> oh, crap. They're about to fight me. All right, so that was it. That's all I had to do. Bro, I swear I do one homestead mission and 20 more pop up. This is overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Bowls? 
They're bowling? No way. I see you are getting along again. That's good. Oh, I. We uh, always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. That's good. Just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And Terry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. You rat! <laughs> That's why he built this bowl pitch so he could beat me at something. Still can't though, can you, Terry? That was winning till Connor came along. Sure you were. I love these guys, man. <laughs> I love their accents. Wait, how does this work? What am, what am I doing? Okay. Throw? Where am I throwing it? What is what is the objective of this game? Y'all get this? Yay. What did I just do? <laughs> Change the... Okay. Tactical camera? Bro, they just made me play this game and I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yay, one point. How? Is... Do you have to knock the balls? Is that... Is that the... Huh? I'm so confused. Did that give me points? That gave me points, I guess. That should do. Okay. Okay, but <laughs> what? What am I playing, bro? What am I playing, bro? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Plus one points. Yay. Oh, I messed up. Oops. No points. Darn. How do you get two? Well done. You deserve the victory. What are you talking about, Connor? Connor, what what are we playing? Uh, okay. Do I put my ball next to my other ball? Yay. I think that's how you play. That? Okay. That's hit. Whoa, that was a far toss. He got nothing for that. How, wait, how did he get three turns? What? I'm so confused. Or I can do a lob. Okay. Let's see what this does. Ooh. Two point. Ooh. Let's go. All he has is one more throw, though. One point, okay. You feel sorry for me? Is that what you just said? Why? I'm confused. One point, let's go. All right, I gotta do another one. Oh, that, that's, that's a winner right there. No, it's not. Round three. How many rounds is there? Uh... Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's let's try here. Like that. Okay, why was that throw so far? What if I do it like that? That's still like a far toss. All right, let's see what a lob does. 
That seemed better. All right, dude. <laughs> Am I supposed to win this? I just threw all my balls. I lost. GG's. Oh, but we still... Okay. Well, we took the L, but... It... Helped us progress. And that's all that matters. What in the world was that? Okay, it's one thing when you give me rules and I don't understand them. But when you just don't give me any rules whatsoever and you're like, play! I'm like, huh? <laughs> uh, I didn't even see any option to like pull rules up or anything. Like there was no button. All right, well, that is the one and only time we're playing bowl. <laughs> that was pretty funny though. All right, Prudence, what happened? Do you have a moment? Oh my God, girl, you look bad. Things is really going rough for you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be out here doing what that. What is it, Prudence? I feel silly bothering you with this, but Warren's taken a yield to market in Boston. Could you round up the livestock for me? I've tried, but this baby in my belly takes the wind out of me. Of course. I will see to it. Aw. All right, we gotta herd the pigs. What? How Oh. oh, I got to put him in their pen this way. Oh, is that? Oh, the pins right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go, piggy Get in there. Oh, what the heck? Punch Not there. Oh, I thought you yeah, thought I thought I was going to punch the pig. <laughs> I thought punch man punched the I was like wait hold on Faster That wouldn't be good I don't think Peter would like this game Get in there Go go Oh it's a dog that scared me What the No stop doing that Get in, the pen. Get in there Shoo. Oh my, this is like real. Just pick it up and throw it in there. <laughs> what the? Get, <laughs> Get in hip. there. This way. What in the Red Dead Redemption is this? Get in the freaking pen. Come on, babe. Charlotte's Not web, there. what's going on? Porky pig, get up in there. Get. Oh my. Oh my goodness. He's not even going the right way. Faster than they look. Would you? Yep, yep. There you go. There you go, Porky. Get in there. Yeah. What is happening? Is that a chicken? Uh, I love chickens. The things I do for this place. He's upset too. I'm, I'm with Connor, man. I'm with Connor. <laughs> who said? Who said Connor's a boring assassin? Get out of here, bro. I love this guy. Freaking awesome. Come on, get in the pen. Get in the. Get in the pen. What the? Oh my god. Get in there. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Connor. I could never have managed that. I know. I could barely it was manage my pleasure. it. pleasure. Are you well? I am. And I couldn't be happier. Warren and I have been waiting a long time for this. And if truth be told, we could not dream of a better place to raise our family. Oh, that's great. I'm happy for them. That's cute. Where are we at? Level three, four? What are we looking at? Level four, right? I'm 
I'm getting a full synchronization there. And we can do this last one right here. I didn't know I could do so many right here in the beginning of the game. I thought it would kind of space them out, you know, but I've been getting a ton of these back to back to back. Yeah, these homestead missions really do give you like a full feel of Connor. Like if you skip these missions, it would kind of suck, to be honest. I'm glad I'm playing them. Not the right gift. Oh, yikes. Did we mess up? Did we mess up? Bad news. She did not like the flowers. She tossed them aside. Whoa. But Prudence was certain. I knew Miriam was not the type for flowers. I will uncover this mystery myself, Norris. All right, but please don't let her see you. She will think I'm bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. I mean, you already kind of are bizarre. You made me figure out your gift ideas. That's pretty bizarre. This is no good. Can I help you, Connor? Is this something to do with Norris? Oh, crap. I like I literally like touched her. I was so close. What are you doing? Oh. This is kind of weird. Why am I stalking her? Connor, why are you poking around my cat? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out too, girl. Why am I doing that? I mean, I know why. I just think it's a little creepy. What is this? Oh, she needs like a new knife. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> she might appreciate Whoa. a new knife. That blade has seen its prime. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right so we're gonna go back to norris we're gonna tell him hey she needs a new knife bro and he's gonna be like what a new knife that's bizarre if you give a girl a gift like flowers and she just throws them out like that i think you need to move on to the next girl <laughs> I think you need to move on to the next girl. How does she not appreciate your your humble flowers? It was such a nice gift. All right. Well, Norris, we got a gift idea for you. <laughs> Let's see Doris, what he says. I looked around her camp and it seems she needs a new hunting knife. The one she is using has seen better days. Oh, we oui. that seems more right for her. I'll think on it. Merci. Merci. All right. Well, you think on that. Do your thing, big dog. I'll come check on you in a few uh, sequences. Oh, hey, wait, what's going on in here? Is this one of my assassins? Oh, no, not you. I think it's this guy over here. So you're the lad. Neighborhood could use more men of action like yourself. My name is Connor. That's a lovely name for a man from Wales. Wales? What's your real name? Radohan Gedon. A strong name. You should use it. Mine's Duncan. Plain as they come. If you've the time to spare, I'd urge you to keep on doing what you're doing. This infernal gang needs to be stopped. I agree with that. How's it going, lad? I imagine you're busy these days. Not much has changed with regards to our local thugs. 
I'll lead you to it. All right, sounds good. You do your thing, I guess. I think this is one of the places I liberated. All right, well, the mission is right by here, so let's go to it. Dang, he just ah, Connor, busted right in there. What a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... Whoa. To introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies you must help us only tell me where to find him and i will put a stop to this he has dozens if not hundreds of soldiers at his command that's not good you cannot hope to match him by yourself but fear not for you will not have to we have an entire army of our own nice. merely awaiting the order to take up arms then you must call upon them indeed you and i Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. <laughs> we have lives to save. Come I'm on. touching them. He said, I'm going to rouse the boys. <laughs> All right, then you do that, sir. You do that. Like how you kept trying to touch Connor. And Connor's like, bro, chill. April 18th. Uh oh, oh. they've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah, you take the reins. I'll navigate quickly. Connor, get on the horse. You made me drag the bone in the bro. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions and we'll be done in no time. I do not want to be on the horse with this guy. I'm sorry, yes. Paul Revere. This is exactly where we need to be. William Dawes Jr. William Dawes Jr. was a Boston revolutionary and one of the riders sent out to warn Lexington and Concord that the British regulars were on their way the night of April 18th, 1775. The other rider was, of course, Paul Revere. While Revere took the route across the water to Charlestown, Dawes took the longer road across Boston Neck. He arrived in Lexington shortly after Revere did. Dawes was a tanner by trade. These days, he would make a fortune in New Jersey. <laughs> hey, hold on. The reason why I find that funny is I watched Jersey Shore like pretty religiously. And like, <laughs> yeah, that, that hit. The amount of tanning that goes on there. And while he wasn't as politically active as Revere, he did wear a homespun suit to his wedding. Now, I know that doesn't sound intensely radical, but at the same time, it was quite a statement. At the time, the rebels were trying to enforce boycotts of British products like cloth and encouraging people to buy American. By advertising his suit was locally made, Dawes was putting himself firmly on the Patriot side of the equation. He might as well have worn a bowler hat and a mask with the king's face on it. Though that would have been weird at a wedding. Yeah, facts. Okay, so is a tanner really a ta Like, what? What does that mean? Like, does he actually help people tan? Like, now... <laughs> Sean's got me questioning things. And we'll be done in no time. Okay, so... Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. All right, so we got to go this way. Cool. What the... Hello? Game? Y'all saw that? Like, what the heck? The horse got stuck on something. A bush? A stick? A branch? Keep going! Wait, there's military up ahead. Redcoats. What are they doing here? I don't know. A they destination always swift and sure. I like that about you, Connor. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. 
Okay. Turn right. Turn right. This way. Excellent. We are right on course. Are we? Turn right. All right, right. This way, Connor. Oh, there's more. Dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. All right, let's stay on the outskirts here. Where are we going now, buddy? Uh, I guess we're staying in this town. But I don't. Ah, oh, were you seen by someone? Oh, them. What the heck? Where'd they come from? Oh my goodness. Really, dude? All right. Well, let's gear up. Ooh. Guess we're fighting them. Oh, I don't have my. Okay, that's fine. That is not what we were trying to do. Is this it? No. It's got to be one of these houses, right? This is it. You this have it? got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming. Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. <laughs> We're actually helping Paul Revere. Warn the people of the British coming. Keep going. That's actually kind of fire. <laughs> I love it. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. This is a strong horse. Excellent. We are right on course. All right, where now? Where now? Excellent. We are right on course. Oh. Go right, Connor. I can't. Keep going. Yes, this is it. This is the way. This is the way. Yes, this is it. This is the way. Did you hear that? Uh oh. Could be red coats. Careful. Yeah, I see them. I see them. This way, Connor. Oh, that's a big body of water. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. All right, well, we dodged them, so that's what was important. Oh, there's more. Can we go this way? Turn right. Go right, Connor. All right, yep. Was this like a random camp? Let us continue the search on foot. Oh, on foot. Be on the lookout for red coats. I'll try my best. Is this the place? No. There's a delivery guy here. This is it. You have got the right place. The British are coming. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Why is there something annoying about Paul Revere? Oh wait, there's some red coats. To the right, Connor. To the right. We can't. We can't. We can't. We gotta go this way. Turn right. I know. We just couldn't turn right where we wanted to. Oh. Turn right. I know. I 
I don't think our horse can go across the water. Actually, maybe she can. I lied. We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. Is this it? This is it. You have got the right place. I'm good at this. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Oh! Get them. That was a jump scare. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. Uh, I'm gonna try. Whoa. Faster. We oh. need to get away from them. Oh, crap. Ah. Huh. Turning the table, are you? Help me. Hey, is Paul Revere actually doing some, some something over there? No way. Is he cooking? He might actually be cooking. Oh my God. Dear Lord. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that to me. Ah. We should be able to take him out. There it is. Go ahead, disarm him. There that we go. Was much too close for comfort. Oh, he's... Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Yeah, let's get back on the horse. Uh, Connor? What? <laughs> uh, Connor, what? I'm just standing right here. We need oh, to get crap. away from them. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go this way. We've got to shake those red coats. I'm trying. To the left, Connor. Whoa. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. To the right, Connor. To the oh, right. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, sir. Yes, this is it. This is the way. This is the way, apparently. Here we are. Best to continue on foot. It's got to be this place right here. This is it. You have got the right place. I know. I just have that intuition. Uh oh. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? <laughs> Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. My man's was slanging the snake? Bro, the British are coming. What the f <laughs> What? <laughs> what is going on there? Let's read about this man. When Paul Revere and William Dawes left Lexington on their way to Concord, they were joined by Samuel Prescott, a young doctor from Concord. Prescott was a member of the Sons of Liberty, a natural choice for an anti-British nighttime ride. Prescott was in Lexington that night to visit his fiance. I assume that's who he, we saw run off. <laughs> he was intending to return home late. A happy coincidence for Revere and Dawes. Prescott knew the area well, so when the three men were stopped by British troops, it was Prescott who managed to elude his pursuers and reach Concord to sound the alarm. Here's the strange thing. After that night, well, Prescott sort of disappears. I have a record that he may have died as a British prisoner in Halifax in 1777 but it's far from clear cut. I suppose he could have left Boston with the British on evacuation day, but how he was captured and when, I have no idea. And those are four words I never thought I'd say. This man was clapping some cheeks. We got some people to warn. The Redcoats are out here killing people. 
And he's thinking about clapping some fiance cheeks. That is ridiculous. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Isn't Lexington in Kentucky, though? What's up with this map? Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Is there another Lexington I'm not thinking of that's on the East Coast? John Hancock, the man. John Hancock was a Whig leader in Boston prior to the Revolutionary War and went on to be the president of the Second Continental Congress, which was responsible for creating the Declaration of Independence. Exactly. All very impressive. But most impressive of all was that his name would live on to be slain for signature. Now that's a legacy. One day I imagine Sean will be used by, a ch by children to describe a world weary sneer. I can but only dream. Hancock was born in Massachusetts, the son of a reverend, but his father died when he was young, and John was sent to live with his uncle in Beacon Hill. Thomas Hancock ran a prosperous shipping business, which John inherited when his uncle died in 1764. Hancock was a noted businessman and probably made at least some of his money smuggling, which he was tried for in 1768. Though he was never convicted, he joined the Patriot cause after the Stamp Acts were imposed in 1764. He went on to be one of the instigators of the Tea Party. In fact, after the revolution began, he was such a well-known rebel that when the Boston governor offered clemency to anyone who would lay down their arms, Hancock was spe specifically left out of the deal. Hancock's probably best known for signing the Declaration of Independence. His signature was the first on the document. Possibly because of that, and possibly because Hancock was known for being extravagant, his name is signed with a flourish, written larger than any of the others. So now in America, your signature is sometimes referred to as your John Hancock. I've heard that before. I needn't explain why to some people that sounds a little bit dirty, but I will. It sounds like a penis reference. <laughs> okay, Sean. How old are we, Sean? <laughs> sometimes I wonder. All right, so we need to... We need to go over here. Okay. This isn't that far away. Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! Unless fired upon! What's wrong with this guy? Is he sick? But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here. Pick can. Uh oh. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position. Oh, they're Ravens. running. Traitors. They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! That guy does not have a lot left in him, does he? All right, we need to get to Concord. Oh, 
Oh god. There's a lot of Johns. John is a pretty common name, huh? It's a common American name. Oh god. I'm just trying not to get shot. Excuse me. Get out. Everyone run. Whoa, move, sir. They're taking prisoners. Run. Rescue civilian hostages? The Red Coats are taking captives. We have to help. Guess I'll help some people. Why not? Hitting LB. I think that's such an annoying button to have. I don't know why I want to hit that button so bad, but I just keep hitting it. Why did the music get so loud, by the way, at that point? You guys aren't going to notice it because I'm going to edit it, but I don't know what was going on there. The music just like blasted in my ears. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I'm enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Green boy. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. Sure. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. <laughs> Why is his voice like that? <laughs> so raspy and monotone. Sir. I don't know if he's talking Not to me or if he's trying to seduce me. No. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Red Coats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Okay, his voice is a lot better now. <laughs> Wait for the uh, signal. With a sick with a single order. Oh, okay, I got my men. We the Patriots boys. Let them come, let them come. Now. Let's go. I'm that good. What's going on over here? Y'all ready? Nice. Let's Old go this fire. way. Hold fire over here. Oh, this is freaking cool, Wait man. Wait for the signal. So you see the whites of their eyes. Right fire. there. Oh, we got some action going on over here. Prepare yourself. Boom. Go. Shoot. Shoot! Shoot! 
Prepare yourselves. Okay. Go. Yeah, y'all are doing just fine. Like he said, good boys. Prepare yourselves. Oh crap, we gotta go this way. Hold fire! Fire now! Shoot, shoot, shoot. There they go. For the signal. Oh wait, we're, we're whoa, whoa, whoa. Over here. Hold fire! Go! Shoot. Yeah. Wait for my signal. Prepare yourself. Over here. Open fire. You got him. That's beautiful. Wait for my signal. Fire! Woo! Get him. Wait for the signal. Open fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot. This is so cool. Wait for the signal. Go. Shoot. Ah, uh, here we are over here. Open fire. Shoot. Wait for the signal. Uh, we're good over here. We're good over here. We're not good over here. Fire! Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. Fire! Oh. Oh, they're doing great. They're doing great. Prepare yourself. This should be it right shoot. here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, they got to reload, so we'll come back. Make ready. Fire now. Shoot. We're about to win. Woo! Order in the troops. Fall back. That was awesome. We did it! They're turning tail! Mm-hmm. We did amazing. God, so much death. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he might regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. Not wrong. All right, so we survived that. That's good. Newspaper unlocked. Got a bunch of newspapers. For the support of the glorious cause, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited I to the task. Sir, I beg leave to assure really? the Congress that I as no pecuniary consideration yeah, okay. to Shut up. have accepted this arduous employment. I can't kill him here, though. Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor. To there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I doubt not they the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander-in-chief, George Washington. Ah, 
So you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> humble. As humble as he is brave. We could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good. I to talked meet about you, this Tom. in the first episode. Charles Lee, he wanted to be commander in chief. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're going to get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. The Battle of Bunker Hill? You have my thanks. Let's go! No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. My boy, George W. Imagine. Imagine if they were alive today. If George Washington could see what's become of America and just the world in general. Still here, are you? I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. Mm. But no one knows who fired first. Right. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? That's the media, People man. People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Does it always save lives, though? All right, let's go to the Animus here. Recent entries. And let's, who is James Barrett? James Barrett was a colonel in the rebel militia for Concord and the town's representative in the Boston legislature in the years leading up to the revolution. Barrett didn't exactly want the position at the head of the militia. He was 65 when the war start, started. Wow. He had his pipe and slippers ready and probably just wanted to watch game shows. Unfortunately for him, experienced commanders were in short supply. Yes, they were. And Barrett had fought in the French and Indian War. So, Colonel it was. When the British came to Lexington and Concord looking for rebel weapons caches, troops headed straight to Barrett's farm, where they were told they'd find the majority of the supplies. Of course, by the time they'd arrived, most of the weapons had been removed and hidden elsewhere. Barrett wasn't there either. Okay, so I haven't bought anything in a while, so we should definitely try to buy something. If I can, that is. I don't have much money. Like, I feel like in the other games, I'm usually stacked with money by now, but in this game... Looking a little rough, guys. Um, blunt weapons. What do we got here? Whoa, war club. That, that looks kind of cool. Stone dagger. What about firearms? What do we have? Duck foot pistol. Look at that. You can fire three bullets at once. What? That's kind of fire. It's like a pistol shotgun. Let's try it. I can buy outfits too. The Jamestown one looks so cool. But then the Charleston one does too. I think we should get the Jamestown one. 
What about maps? Oh, we can get... Oh, there's trinket maps, too. I have no money now. But it is, that's nice to know, though. I'm gonna try the Boston Brawlers. I haven't tried this yet. So let's go over there and check it out. I like my new robes, baby. All right, I'm gonna head over to the Boston Brawlers because I haven't checked this out yet. And it seems like it'd be pretty fun. I don't have any notoriety, right? No, I'm good. Let me fight. Let me fight. Hello. Think you're meaner than Goose Grease, do you? I'm organizing an attorney for lads like you. But it's not open to just anyone. Gotta prove yourself first. Okay. Here's a list of names. Beat each of these brutes and you'll get your spot. Then we'll see how tough you really are. I have to fight this guy named Peter in the frontier. Okay, so Peter's over here. Let's fight him. Okay, so this guy named Peter is over here. Peter, I'm here. What's up? Here for a scrap? Yeah. Come on, swing me some more. This is what you got here? This is a little boys right here. Oh, don't get drop kicked, Peter. Don't get drop kicked, Peter. Oh, okay. Peter's kind of nice. You want a chance? Yeah. You gotta hit me. I'm hitting you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Peter. Oh, all right. Won't get far hitting me like that. I wasn't trying to hit you with the X button. Dang it. There it is. He ain't like a slap, did he? Come on, Peter. Huh. Won't get far hitting me like that. The music's so good. Ooh, wait, how did he get me? That's like no health. Got him. Right on my arse. <laughs> Yo, this game has so many funny one-liners, man. Oh my god. <laughs> right on your what, Peter? Right on your what? I think we need to hear that back. Hope will never die. Orale.